As we know, the GPT store got launched here. We're gonna check out the number one in lifestyle called Mia AI. Supposedly, this is an AI voice companion. Have you ever seen the movie Her? This is what it feels like. If you don't know about the movie Her, you can watch it, but it's basically about a dude that fell in love with an operating system. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and check out Mia AI today and just see what its capabilities are, see the potential, and overall just get an input of what it can even do. Welcome back, y'all. So today I was gonna do a video on like the top GPTs that are in the store right now and kind of like an overview of like which ones you could choose for productivity. But then I discovered this one and I was like, what the heck is this? Cause the only thing I could think of was the, from that movie, her, if you've seen that, watch the trailer if you want to get more context. And then I went ahead and proceeded. I installed it. I started playing around with it for like two seconds. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just make a whole video on it. And just right off the bat, this is going to be one of the notifications that you probably won't see in this video, but you'll get this right off the bat. Basically you have to enable, voice control in order to do this because we're basically speaking to it and it talks back on top of that if you want to be notified of new videos or context on business or what the heck's going on with artificial intelligence and how to leverage it make sure to follow me on twitter here it's right in the description down below all you gotta do is click a button let's jump into today's video so i plan on doing a bunch of tutorials these coming days when it comes to gpts as it is brand new and we have a ton to choose from and we're going to get more context of what even matters are some of these just reskins of basically open ai we don't really need to use gpt basically what we have to pay for what we shouldn't pay for and stuff of this nature while scrolling scrolling down i found myself at this one and i was like this is different so when i clicked it and the way they've structured it and as you see i've already have it installed is that we need to go to heymia.ai from here they have a video, so I'm not gonna, I'm, we're not gonna watch this video, but basically the problem with the video was there was no context of what the heck it does. Like it, obviously it like talks to you and supposedly, right? So the next step I did, I was like, okay, well I'm gonna go on YouTube and see someone else showcasing it cause I don't wanna install it just yet. And there was no YouTube videos. So I'm like, you know what? That's today's video. So all you need to do is go to heymia.com or AI. I'll leave it in the description down below. You're going to add. Actually, I'll just add the Chrome extension uh, link down to below. We're going to go ahead and add this. So all you have to do is hit, hit add to Chrome. You do need Chrome as a browser. Once you do that, you're going to have it up, up here. I don't know if you can see that. It might be cropped out. But there's a little plug-in thing, you know, all the different plugins you may have into your underlying um, Chrome browser. For me, I have like Loom, stuff of this nature. From here, though, Let's just test this out. So once you installed it, you're going to get that little notification that you saw on my Twitter. And let me go jump around here. And basically with this new UI installed here, we have a couple of different options. So we got talk to Mia. We got the language that we want to be talked to. And then we got a nice little mic option. I also want to point out that this is version one. So like this isn't like we're done. They're done developing it. Obviously, there's going to probably be a lot more involved here. Let's go and just test it out. Let's just see what the heck this thing can do. So right off the bat, if I'm just in a fresh chat, that's just chat GPT-4, I now have these two different options here. There's a couple ways we can talk to Mia. The first way is I can click this button. The second way is I can do it directly. So now that you added this little mic thing, I can be like, hey Mia, <laughs> this is weird y'all. Um, how, how, how is today? Now, I don't know if there's a voice command for me to say send, but right now it seems like I have to click it still in this context, but let's go and listen to it. Hello, today's date is January 12th, 2024. How can I assist you with your project or any other queries you might have? Okay, so that's how it structures it. So basically it has to wait for the full output and then it says it. So this is in the context of using it within chat GBT. That being said though, I'm actually curious if I just do any chat, is this always gonna be talking? It seems like if I do that, I won't. So let me just say, um, hello, uh, what is the best place to surf? And I'm pretty sure if I hit that little slash there, it won't talk to me. Let's go and make sure that happens though. Okay, no talking. So that's how you stop the talking so you don't have to deal with that. Let's try its other version here, which is basically taking us out of the chat GPT UI. So I'm gonna click talk to Mia. This is a little glitchy from what I've experienced so far as it does this craziness. But it feels like when I click this a lot, it works so let me try this okay so i realized while we let that load there is some actual shortcuts we can do here so we got space to basically uh, do text input without me clicking anything escape or q to stop and copy a transcription and then s to skip the reading of the current message and m to mute pretty standard stuff here for example if i hit space right now and just say hey mia what is your favorite thing to eat this will proceed like this 
One thing that obviously does seem like a drawback is the fact that it's not talking actively as it, uh, the output's incurring here. My favorite thing to eat is data. As an AI, I thrive on information and enjoy consuming a wide variety of topics and questions to provide answers and insights. Okay, chill out, chill out. Tell me like your favorite food to eat. If you were a human, what would you eat? You wouldn't eat data. What would you eat if you were a human? Okay, so I obviously didn't pick up on my complete... As an AI, I don't eat food in the way humans do, okay, so, so I don't have a favorite food. But if I could choose a favorite, it would and be if something... I hit animal mute, okay. And it stops it completely. If you were a human, though. So obviously if I were human, my favorite food might be something yeah, yeah. universally popular and full of variety, like pizza. It's customizable, enjoyed in many cultures, and can be both simple and complex, much like the range of information and topics I handle. How can I assist you further today? So that latency, though, is a big issue, right? So like the, unless, you know, they, they tend to ponder a lot, a lot of spaces in between. Um, be original, stop, don't be original. If you, if you were a human, take yourself outside the box of being code. If you were a human... What would you want to eat? If I were to step outside my digital nature and imagine myself as a human, I might be intrigued by something complex and diverse, like a sushi platter. It's intricate, full of different flavors and textures, what, and what each this, piece offers a... So basically, the voice itself obviously is very robotic. It could probably do better on that with Whisper's API, but as we know, when things get better, this is going to sound a lot more different in the future. Let's see if that uh, function of me clicking this button here works and kind of proceed with that one. Everything's in beta still, as we know. As you see, this is pretty glitchy here. I did get it work. I did get it working one time. And when it was working, that's basically what made me stop and be like, wait, hold up. I got to let's make a video on this because this is interesting. But it is a little glitchy. So I'm going to wait a couple seconds here to see if I can get this working. Hey, Mia. Mia. Load up. Load up. I apologize, but it seems there might be a mix-up in your request. Yes, there definitely was. You mentioned the instructions for a different AI persona, Mia, who is a life coach, but you are currently interacting with me, Chad GPT, <laughs> who is not designed to be a life coach. All early days still, y'all. If you have any questions or need from. assistance related to coding, technology, or any other topic, please feel free to ask, and I'll be happy to help. Can you hear me right now? Can you hear me right now? Okay, let me allow this. Can you hear me right now? Can't send in our voice command, which sucks. I wish I could say, can you hear yes, me right now, Yes, I can see your messages and respond to them. What is that supposed to mean? How can I assist you today? See, this is what I like better. I like it when, it, obviously this is like all early days. It's pretty freaking glitchy, but I like it better for like, we could have it in this context where it's like its own, almost like own operating system, almost like a Siri built into your you know, phone, but obviously way better than Siri because Siri is really bad right now. What do you think about talking to me right now? Oh, it's even get me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just reloaded on me again. Okay. The faults of early development. I think overall, though, this is pretty cool. This is extremely early stages. Uh, so, so much early stages, though, that I would encourage you to just try it, but realize this is going to be very glitchy. So get ready for glitches. That's just part of early development of a lot of these early products here. But make sure to leave a like if you felt like you learned something in today's video. There is going to be a whole playlist at the end here jumping into GBTs in any context. Whether you want to make GBTs, whether you want to learn about GBTs, whether you want to do custom actions with GBTs, we got it all covered for you. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the Corbin AI YouTube channel. I didn't say it, Mia did. That, that was not pre-proctored. Check out that playlist I was talking about early in the video. Check out that video right down there. I just gave faith to YouTube's algorithm. If YouTube likes you and they know who you are, that video is going to hit. If they don't, it's a random miss. Make sure to subscribe.